today we will learn how to pump data at the schema level now what we will do is we have a user named as u1 okay this user has two tables named as t1 and t2 we will check from this command select star from tab here it shows it has t1 and t2 now table number table t1 has 10 rows select star from t1 that will show you 10 rows table t2 has 20 rows now when we do schema level data pumping the whole schema will be exported and then we will delete this particular user and then import the schema back again now we will open a new tab because always data pumping is done on the os prompt we will write expdp sorry expdp dump file we will create a dump file equal to uh, schema underscore export exp dot dmp log file as a schema underscore exp dot log and then we will write the name of the schemas we will always write schemas and we will uh, specify as u1 so once we start with the export both the tables that is t1 and t2 of user of the schema u1 will be uh, exported if we want to transfer if we want to export the data of more than one schemas what we can do is we just can put commas and then continue writing the uh, schema names that is if we have more schemas like u3 u4 u5 we can write u1 comma u3 comma u5 so all those uh, schemas having their respective tables all those tables will also be exported now here the process has started we will be able to see it clearly that u1 uh, schema will have a t1 and t2 both of them will be uh, exported now this process will take some time <coughs> by the time we can see that uh, we i can uh, we can uh, see where these uh, the export file and the log files are created at the location of uh, rdbms slash log now after after once this process is completed we can go and check there whether those files have been created the file named as schema underscore exp dot dump and schema underscore exp dot log now this will after this process completes we will able to be we will be able to see that t1 having 10 rows and t2 having 20 rows have been exported successfully here it shows exported u1 t1 10 rows and exported u1 t2 20 rows now this process has completed we can go and check the by default location of uh, where the uh, log file and the dump files are stored is file system u01 app oracle product 10.2.0 db underscore 1 rdbms here we have a folder named as rdbms here we have it we have log and we get export underscore uh, <coughs> uh, export underscore schema dot dmp and schema underscore export dot log these are the two files that we just created and if we want to check the log file only contains the information of whatever we had done so whatever is written over here in this export in this particular part of the screen is stored in a text format over here okay now what we will do is we will go to the user and delete the 
particular user we will drop this user via our uh, dba privileges we will write drop user u1 cascade we are doing cascade because we also want to drop the tables inside the user u1 okay here it will show that user has been dropped successfully now if we try connecting to the user like if i try connecting again i it will show me that u1 is not connecting because because uh, invalid username password logon denied because there is no user named as u1 right now now what i will do is i will import i will import this particular user back again okay if i want to check again i can you know try connecting again connect u1 slash u1 it will say invalid logon password okay now what i will do is i will import this particular uh, schema back again into our database that is we will write impdp the dump file the dump file of the export was named as schema underscore exp dot dump this name will remain the same schema underscore exp that is export dot dump log file can be named differently so i will name it as schema underscore imp because we are importing not log and the schema name always we will have to write schemas it will not be schema it will be schemas we will name it again as u1 here the process has will will start now the process of importing the file will start now again it will it is showing that imported u1 t1 10 rows and u1 t2 20 rows now when we go uh, to the sysdba uh, tab and we try connecting to user u1 it will connect and here it has connected as you can see and uh, again we can check we have select star from tab it will show that it has two tables that is t1 and t2 we can still check further whether all the data has been recovered back select star from t1 it should draw that it has 10 rows and select star from t2 should show it has 20 rows now this is the basic method of how to uh, do schema level data pumping there are various more options that that are used further in order to uh, data pump the data from uh, you know at the schema level but this is how we do it at the basic level okay i hope you find this video useful to you